we are in the Alamo City downtown and uh, try to find somebody to interview you know these homeless that are out here you know we see them every day we pass by them you know what I mean we're like oh look at those damn bums drug addicts homeless people you know but they come and uh, they don't just become homeless something drastically in their life has changed you know either through childhood or through adulthood you know maybe loss of a child loss of a job you know injury something something happened to them to get to this point of homelessness so you're homeless huh yeah. what's your name john gray john gray how long have you been homeless five years five years how'd you get here see the reason why i'm doing this is because you know we walk by people walk by and they're like oh look at those bums or look at those drug addicts or but you know the truth is we've all came from somebody we had a house we had a job we had a car you know we had family you know we just didn't get here just by you know all oh, because we want to be homeless you know what's your no. story how'd you get here my story is uh I lost my mom and my dad and my dad uncle was a military guy and everything i did on that purple paint was my grandma fellow tears telephone indian warrior bought in alabama and died in actual it's in the Aztec. So you Aztec bull rider. Oh, uh, yeah. Aztec bull rider. What did uh, what'd you do before being homeless? Did you have a job? I never had a job. No? I was in kept. Oh, I was in jail well. and I was in the drugs, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, there's there's many people, myself, it's you may include you. Know? Yeah, yeah. I did a lot of math. I did a lot of videos with the shoots with my video. Oh, wow. And actually, I was supposed to shoot one when the coffin was doing it. Have you ever did, I've heard a lot of this uh, blues or fentanyl. Have you ever did that? Never did fentanyl. Oh, that's good because, you I know, I, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, I, I've did. heard a lot of people were just dying from that, you know? I never did the fentanyl. Yeah, yeah, no, that's good. But um, what do you do for your little hustle out here? You paint, I you draw? I draw. It's right here. Sign bank. Oh, yeah. You made that, huh? Right on, right on. That's all my blood and my grandma and my daddy. Oh, yeah. Oklahoma, Louisiana, Texas. It's a star state. Yeah. What are the streets like out here? Are they dangerous? It's hard out here on these streets. You get down uh, to nothing. Yeah. And uh, you have to hustle. And I've hustled five years and probably about six months and I couldn't get handy. Uh, Social Security back to me. Yeah. What it's been prodding. The beatings I've took in the cities I've been in. Yeah, it's really hard. Struggle. Yeah. It means keep on trucking. You're 18. I'm 38 years old. I've been doing this all my life. Wow, man. Have you ever? I heard this uh, place called. Uh, I think it's Hope of Haven or Haven of the uh, Hope. Have you ever been there? I've I hear they there. give like three, three, um, uh, three meals a day. 365 days out of the year, you know? I've been there, I just don't like it. And I'll be honest with you. Yeah. How it was when I was there, it wasn't so good. No, uh, I got into too many fights. Do you, do you get a lot of lashback for being out here on the street and like for yeah. bumming in and stuff like that? A people, lot of dirt and people talking about you. Yeah. And it made me famous to hold animals, a bird, what they call them. Yeah. My nickname is Birdman. Birdman? Mm -hmm. 
I'm the one that can all the animals. My grandma was actually a voodoo Indian. That's a, a voodoo Indian? Mm -hmm. Like with the little pin dolls and stuff, you could actually. actually she could uh, do it out the pin dolls. Oh wow! She Without had it. the talent to know what you was thinking, like oh. a mind reader. Yeah. And how I was, I could hold animals, wild animals, not them might be, like possums, blue jays, pigeons catching. Yeah. That's how fast I was. I could catch like chickens. Yeah. I used to cock fight the Obama. Oh wow. That's like cool. my cousin in Mexico, San Diego, actually fights them over in San Diego. Yeah. The chicken fighters. Wow. He raises them gang fighting Oh yeah. I've been to a lot of those. I love watching gang fighting. Oh yeah, I've been to a lot of those, man. I love like, Mexican gang fighters. Yeah. The horse rides and the gang bikes. Yeah, that's cool, man. So yeah, I just wanted to get your story, you know what I mean? Because I mean, yeah. me, me included, being guilty of it, you know what I mean? I walk around and oh, look at those bums and little joy. But then, you know what I mean? I had like conviction of my heart. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. These people, I had these people, of my heart. yeah, these people like, come from somewhere. You know what I mean? I mean, they, they, they didn't just end up here. You know, there's a, there's a lot of people they who's got stories. Why I was there? Yeah, I come out from Oklahoma to Dallas and then I one night uh, I got tired of Dallas and I said I talked to my cousin little Dicky the rapper and he hit me a hundred dollars that night I partied with him. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I partied pretty damn hard on some damn meth and some cocaine. Yeah. That night that new year four years ago with little Dicky's party in Dallas. Yeah, yeah. With Lil Wayne, Butterfly, Fire Queen, and all of them. Where are you from originally? Originally from Oklahoma. Oklahoma? Right. Oh, wow. Indian country. Yeah. How long you been here? Actually, I've been here for five years and about six months. Oh, wow. Man. Yeah. Born six months. Been to go six years. Yeah. Oh. What do you do during the heat? Once it gets hot, hot, man. And right now it's pretty cool, but. Swimming. Man, I remember the last, last swimming, uh, playing in the rivers. Uh, yeah, because there's been index heat was like 118 this last last past week, last two weeks. Man, I've been up I've there. I've been in the rivers. Yeah. What was your name again? Johnny Richard Green. Johnny Richard Green, huh? Right on, man. Hey, I appreciate